Kelma, tell me all about your uh, your quail farm. When did this start? When did you get this idea? A friend of mine has, uh, has uh, introduced me to quail eggs and uh, that they try them, they, they will be good for you. And so I searched on the internet and uh, yeah, I figured they are good and uh, very healthy. Lots of vitamins, proteins, they uh, would boost up your immune system and I said we should give it a try. And so we figured we should get some from our own use. Yeah, after a while uh, we had a couple extra and uh, so we start to give them away to friends and uh, became more and more and said okay, we probably uh, can do some business with it. And, Last year in December we got a license to sell eggs. That's how it came so far. So how many quail farmers are there in Manitoba? I know there's a couple hobby farmers around here, but uh, yeah, registered and licensed quail farm. We are first and only in Manitoba. First and only in Manitoba. <laughs> is it exciting to be the only one in Manitoba? Yes, it is. Tell me about your day cycle. So. You, you go right from egg to egg. We have uh, a breeder station where uh, we collect the vertical eggs and uh, incubate them, hatch them. They need them uh, six weeks and they are ready to lay. Right now we have two incubators and one hatcher, so it is all with, uh, approximately every two weeks we have uh, one hatch. And one hatch is approximately 80. Birds. Yeah. Right now we are uh, collecting approximately 200 eggs a day. They're such small birds. How is it different than chickens? Yeah, the, uh, we have uh, some challenges with, uh, especially with the uh, very, very young one. They just uh, hatched birds because they are so small. There's none of equipment what we can use from uh, from chickens. Yeah, we have to improvise, so I have to build uh, some by my own. When they are a bit bigger, like a week or so, then, then it's easier. Then I can use uh, equipment for, uh, for little chicks, but uh, yeah, it's been a bit challenging. <laughs> <laughs> well, the eggs themselves are also quite a bit smaller, so how do you work that out with, uh, with recipes? You can use these in place of chicken eggs, right? Yes, you can. Uh, you would need probably a tree, and, three or four even uh, instead of one chicken egg but uh, you also will, will uh, taste it different yeah. and ta uh, so it's they are much more richer in, in taste than, than a chicken egg the only thing to find it out to try it so where do you supply these eggs to? who purchases uh, the quail eggs? Uh, lots of people uh, who just want to uh, boost up uh, immune system but uh, also people buy them because they taste, taste delicious and uh, for decorating uh, some food and uh, restaurants stuff like that. We are supplying to five stores in uh, Steinbeck. What's your goals with this? Uh, where do you plan to get with this in the future? Yeah, as of right now my uh, capacity is here would be for 2000 uh, laying, laying birds. So it means approximately 1,500 eggs a day. Yeah, that's uh, what we are looking in the near future. Nothing is better than uh, get business out of your hobby and, uh, <laughs> and to work at home. So yeah, always with your family, and uh, that's what is it about? Yeah.